Using a small flathead screwdriver, release the ignition coil electrical connector retainer by prying it up and pulling it out of the ignition coil, as indicated by the green arrow. Do this for all six ignition coils. Next, remove the two 10 mm ignition coil fasteners, green arrows. Do this for all six ignition coils. Remove the ignition coil from the cylinder head by pulling it straight up. If the coil resists, twist when pulling up to break it free of the spark plug. The ignition coil rubber boot can become stuck to the spark plug over time. Do this for all six ignition coils. Working at the center of the valve cover, remove the 8mm nut and ground strap from the valve cover fastener as indicated by the green arrow. Unclip the ignition coil wiring harness from the valve cover by pulling it up and remove it from the engine, green arrow. Once unclipped, lay it on the left side of the engine out of the way. Next, pull the oxygen sensor electrical connector out of the holder and lay it aside, green arrows. Then remove the secondary air vacuum hose from the holder and lay it aside. Remove the 15 10 mm valve fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Lift the valve cover off the cylinder head. It should not be stuck to the cylinder head. If it is stuck, check that you didn't miss a fastener. Once the valve cover has been removed, pull the valve cover gasket out of the valve cover. Then thoroughly clean the valve cover sealing groove Remove the sealing grommets from the valve cover fastener and replace them. Install the new valve cover gasket into the sealing groove in the valve cover. Then apply a small amount of RTV to the seams at the BMW E46 Vanos actuator, green arrows, and the cylinder head. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.